What is up, you guys? It is day 31, back biceps and rear delts. I am Shannon Lady Warrior, and I am so happy that you are joining me yet again for another awesome workout in this six-week warrior cut. And yes, this is the middle of week five, so you are so, so close to being done, but not being done on the journey, right? It's, this is just six weeks. I said it yesterday, just the tip of the iceberg, just tipping that, dipping that toe in there to get it wet and just keep on progressing. So make sure that you have subscribed to my channel and that you have your notification bell turned on so you never miss a workout because I promise you, these series are gonna keep coming and you're gonna to wanna to keep investing in yourself. I want you to invest in yourself. I want you to empower yourself to get up and get after it. Give yourself some personal time every single day. Please, you can do it. Invest in yourself. All right, so today is back biceps for your delts. Um, pay attention to the sets and reps. Today we do have that single drop set. So again, for instance, doing some bicep curls, um, there's gonna be one single drop set. So you're gonna do 10 reps using 20 pounds. You're gonna drop the weight right away and lighten the weight, lighten the weight up, meaning you're gonna go, if you're using 20s, you're gonna go to 17.5 or to 15s and you're gonna do the next set of reps. And that combination is one set, okay? And you're gonna be doing um, three of those for biceps today. So just a heads up. Um, let me know in the comments how your legs are feeling from yesterday and hopefully you got in a good post-workout stretch to really flesh out that lactic acid. Hopefully you fueled your body really good to um, just help repair that muscle, getting in plenty of protein, getting in plenty of sleep, getting in plenty of fluids throughout the day. I did have a quick question from um, one of my viewers about how I journal or how I document my progress. So let me just show that really quick. And this is for Teresa. Um, so I just have a regular old college rolled notebook with all my workouts written down here, okay? So all I do is I have the exercise written down and then right next to it, right here in this column, um, I just write the weight that I use. And sometimes I start out at one weight, like if we're doing um, four sets, Say I'm, I start out at one weight um, to kind of maybe do like a little bit of a warm up set, get my body going, and then um, I increase it the next three sets. Um, so I write that down if I have any increases or if I just stay the same. Um, but this is how I do it. I just have the exercise written down and then right next to it, I write down the weights that I use every single day so I can go back to it and try to either meet that or beat that or just try to perfect my form a little bit better or maybe find out if I'm you know not meeting failure fast enough or towards the end of my reps so I know mentally okay next time I do next time I do this this next set I'm gonna go get, pick up another a heavier weight and see what I can do so that is how I make my journal entries so great question I hope that helps all right without further ado um, let's get into this workout, so let's go kick our trash.
right, you guys, that is a wrap on day 31, back biceps and rear delts. It got a little spicy in there. You know it gets spicy when the hair starts down and it ends up. So I hope you guys had an awesome workout. I hope your backs are feeling good, your biceps. My biceps are burnt out. I wanna make one note, when you are doing those bicep curls, when you come down, I want you to come down into full extension so you're contracting your triceps at the bottom and then coming back up, okay? So really concentrate on, on doing that. And if you have to go a little bit lighter in weight, that's okay, because when you come down and contract that tricep, you're working that opposite muscle group. So it's kind of like, you know, more for your money, more bang for your buck. You're getting two in one here. So you're gonna come down, contract that tricep, and then curl up, okay? So make sure you're doing that. Um, and if you don't have a band like I used for the last dumbbell bicep curl, don't worry about it. You can do it without the band as well. Just making sure that you're using good form, okay? And as always, make sure that you're getting a good post-workout stretch in. Really um, stretch those muscles out. Stay loose throughout the day. Get up and walk around. If you have a job that you're sitting a lot, make sure you're just kind of moving around. Make sure too that you're stretching in between um, your sets. For biceps, I really like to bend my arm back like, or my, my wrist down and really get a nice stretch in here. Um, also for back, you can grab like a pole or something and I have one close and just kind of round your back out, really stretch out those lats um, and that upper back. So make sure you're doing that um, between sets as well. So, all right, that is a wrap. Like I said, make sure you get that good nutrition in throughout the day. Make sure you're working on getting in some sleep so your body can repair and recover. And I will see you right back here tomorrow. So go out and dominate the day.